Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogwe. I'm back with another quick insight and uh, mini tutorial, uh, maybe more of a test. So the rage <laughs> yesterday was uh, the Unreal Engine 5, the early access guys. So it, it, I mean, everyone was super excited, including myself. So uh, today I wanted to do a quick test to see how well the Unreal Engine actually hand, the Unreal Engine 5 handles uh, facial animation and we're going to be doing a quick test with a, a meta human and to see how well if there's even an improvement at all whatsoever you know because I, I know i mean i've seen the, how they through from the demo that we watched uh when they launched it it, it looked really awesome in handling massive amounts of data so let's see how well uh, this uh it handles a uh, meta human because the meta humans are pretty <laughs> detailed so let's go ahead and double click and i was successful by the way guys to finally download it and install it uh it took a, a big a lot of time you know and also the size i read also that uh, the demo scene itself is uh over it's actually 106 gigabytes so free up a lot of space guys i had to free up a lot of space on my end as well so let's go double double click on that and let's wait for it and i'm gonna i'm keeping up my iphone here so you can see when it starts uh responding or when i'm capturing the facial animation so you get a sense of how well like is it a one-to-one -one ratio or not okay so which one can i test with uh let's see let me go ahead and open a uh, project all right so here's my project that i'm gonna be using i had to put it on an external hard drive okay and while that's loading uh guys uh if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell uh after you've clicked subscribe uh so that I, you can be alerted when i post a new video you know and as always thank you to my city subscribers guys thank you so much for your support i truly truly appreciate it and uh as always i want to give a shout out to my patrons you guys are supporting me and i truly truly appreciate it thank you you're making it possible for all other artists that are un unable to afford this to for, for me to continue creating these tutorials and insights so thank you so much so again please uh, spare a minute to subscribe and consider becoming a patron i uh, thank you all right so we're using the unreal engine 5 and here's the new interface which is pretty pretty slick as you can see and let me move this over here so there's our meta human so i've already downloaded the meta human i'm trying to save on the time so that you you're not going through laborious or time well today i usually go through the process and i do all this so that you can see but already <laughs> you can see how beautiful it looks so the way i brought it in this character i went to content right and then I clicked on Quixel Bridge, uh, which brought up uh, this window. And you have to make sure that you're logged in to your account, the Quixel Bridge account. And once you're logged in, let me make sure I'm logged in. Okay, let's, let's go sign in. All right, so once you sign in, your content is gonna show up. So under the characters over here, you can see all my meta humans. And then when I'm ready, I just uh, click on this button and it will put the MetaHuman into the Android Engine and Control Spacebar, if you in, a, in the Android Engine 5, Control Spacebar brings up, sorry, brings up the uh, content browser. And in here, you see that it's created a folder called MetaHumans and this organ, the character we're using right now. And so we're gonna test the facial animation, Control Spacebar again. To get rid of it and i've created a camera over here let's look at him and he's looking beautiful so cool and already i am seeing some improvements some major improvements uh, from here because uh when in uh, 4.26 with, with this kind of shot even with uh, without having an environment in the background uh, you could still see some flickering around the eyes, you know, but it seems to be doing a much better job. And let me select the character, organ, and let me see if I can rotate around. Guys, I don't know if you can see that. 
but there's like minimal flickering minimal flickering and i've set this uh, setting to like really 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 high so maybe like right there right there in the corner of the eye but overall it looks much better okay so now let's test the facial animation I'll go ahead and uh, enable my iphone which is already connected over here and so make sure that you your iphone is connected just like you see mine i have it running i've already put in uh, my ip address this over here okay and so once it's connected and i'm using the same uh app the live face live face app that has been around so i've not seen an update yet uh, in line with the uh, Unreal engine 5 so hopefully this is going to work okay uh let's go ahead and press simulate over here and let me bring back my little window over here uh, so that's interesting let's i don't know if i'll be able to all right let's do this let's uh close bridge back there and i want to show this side by side so it looks like if i switch back and then bring this up like this all right now i'm gonna go over here all right first test ba 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 black sheep all right guys um already it looks like it's doing much better <laughs> what this is awesome guys so i can do facial animation in the unreal engine 5 and you can see the quality and this is in real time guys i have not even recorded this as i am talking you can see the mouth of the meta human uh, moving and uh, you see my eyes darting back and forth it's because i'm looking over in the unreal engine 5 over over there like over there <laughs> in uganda we have this thing where someone is pointing and they point with their lips mm. wali like over over there <laughs> my wife used to laugh at me so what what do you mean over there anyway so guys uh clearly th this test is indicative indicative of indicative indicative of the quality that you're able to get from the unreal engine 5 now the only the sad thing is that the live link the uh Reallusion Live Link app is not yet updated to as as I am recording this video, and so I will, I'm not able to do the uh, perception neuron suit to be able to show this. But clearly, this is really really improved. Now for the lips, as you can see, I've read, there's a tutorial that I created that shows you how to improve the lips like that, and so I've already put in my modify curve and some pins to make sure the mouth closes properly. But as you can see, if I look directly in the at you without looking over there and actually do some action, there's a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, their voyage is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a force are we now afloat, and we must take the current when it serves or we'll lose our ventures. Right? <laughs> this is amazing so unreal engine 5 guys uh we've been waiting for this to come and i'm trying to speak really quick so that we can see how well it catches up because even when i slow down you can see the result of that right you can see my iphone over there and uh so i can't wait to try this with our uh, faceware studio as well because this is uh the live uh live live link face up on using the iphone 10 but i want to try with uh faceware studio as well to see how well this works and i can't wait to see also how once we get to the point where we can get iclone uh animation into like aculips so this is awesome guys <laughs> thank you so much again for joining me today uh today was a quick test to show that uh to, to see if there's any improvement whatsoever in uh, the facial animation for uh, using the Unreal Engine 5 and clearly, clearly guys, you can see that uh, there is improvement, like serious improvement. I'm trying to stay focused on this camera right here so that uh, you can, I, I get, you get a sense that I'm actually talking to you using the MetaHuman. I, I get, when I, I'm editing, I'll be able to look back and see, but thank you so much again for joining me. 
I the one that you see on the screen right there on my left, the left of left screen, left of the screen. Uh, well, in the video it would be my right, but to the left of the screen is a meta human. I am Solomon Jogger over there, over here to the right hand side. Over there is the meta human. Maybe, maybe I should create a meta human version of myself to be able to narrate some of these videos. But it's this is awesome. It's an exciting day. Um, it's so good. It's so cool to be able to do this live, guys, live, you know, with the meta human. And so with Lumen, with Nanite and all those things, uh, I can't wait to build environments where we actually are able to um, put these characters so that they can act out and uh, do the sci-fi, you know, short, short films, you know. Ah. <laughs> I'm so super pumped. Thank you, Epic Games. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for updating us with that. Because it's been, since last year, we've been waiting. It's like 2021 seemed such a long, long way away. But here we are. It's the, it's, the wait is finally over. And I can't wait to see how, what you guys do, you know, because we, this is incredible. I mean, the fact that we can do this, you know, in real time is awesome. Awesome, I say, awesome. And uh, this goes with uh, multiple languages. Like if you wanted to speak in French, whatever, in any African language, you'll be able to make this meta human say certain things. So if you have a character that you want to do a foreign film in, uh, I think the meta humans are perfect for it. And as you can see, you know, but meta humani, baze, but we say, but nine, but what is that? Meta humans, baze. That is in Luganda. That's my language. So when I'm speaking, it could be any language whatsoever, whether it's Chinese, you know, German, uh, you know, Spanish. Uh, this is cool to the sea. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Do please spare a minute to subscribe. The MetaHuman is telling you to subscribe. It's urging you to subscribe. It's looking you right in the eye. You, I see you. Yes, you. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please, come on. You know, help me get to 9,000. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Let's continue to tell our stories. And as always, this is a serious note, right? Okay. I am a meta human. That's uh, the meta human speaking. But I'm not here to steal your jobs, guys. No, I'm here to help you realize your dream. That is what I've been sent to do. All right. So dare to dream big. Dare to dream big. Don't give up. And as always, guys, for everybody else that is uh, impacted by this pandemic, I'm praying for you. Thank you so much for your support. Please stay safe and dare to dream big. Don't ever give up. All right. See you. Bye for now.